Uh, you've got to ask God to break the law. Oh, uh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. You, you've got to understand, my brothers and my sisters, uh, that we have been taught as a people, we have been taught um, just as citizens, uh, that one thing you have is laws because laws keep things in order. Uh, that you have laws because laws help to keep a society uh, from falling into anarchy uh, and everybody doing their own thing. Uh, that you have laws in place uh, so that when you are riding along a street, uh, that if you see a light and it goes red that everybody knows the law is that means for you to stop I want to thank God I got some police officers in the house right now and we have police officers in place for people who are law breakers to make sure that we are able to establish an order in our society but I've come by today to tell somebody that I'm not talking about having God break the laws of the land I'm talking about God breaking uh, the laws of the natural world. Uh, you see, you've got to understand uh, there are certain laws that govern the natural world. Uh, there are some natural laws, uh, some physical laws uh, that govern the natural world uh, in order to give it order. Uh, okay, y'all acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but if I drop this like this, uh, it does not float, but it falls and it drops uh, because of the law of gravity. And the law of gravity says uh, that what goes up, God have mercy must come down and because of the law of gravity all of us are not floating around the world and floating into the cosmos because of the law of gravity the law of gravity is connected to the rotation of this earth and that the fact of this rotation of this earth or the fact this earth rotates around the sun and has a moon that rotates around it oh, somebody got me right there you've got to understand something that there's a natural law and order uh, that causes it to be a rotation uh, of the earth in a certain type way uh, that in 24 hours it makes one day. Uh, the earth rotates around the sun, God have mercy, uh, that in 364 55 days uh, it makes one year. Uh, but God decided on that day uh, and Joshua decided to ask God uh, to break the law. Uh, what do you mean, Reverend? Uh, that God, Joshua told God uh, that God, I want you to hold the sun up and not let it move so I can have some extra time. But in order for God to hold the sun up, that means that God would have to hold up the rotation of the earth. That means that God would have to hold up the earth's orbit around the sun. That means that God would have to hold up the moon's rotation around the earth. And that means that God would have to hold gravity even though everything else wasn't working. That things were against the natural order. But Joshua said, I know it doesn't make sense, but God, I need you to do it. Is there anybody in the house that you've got something you need from God that doesn't make sense? It's not natural for God to do for you what you need done. But God, I don't care what you got to do. Just do it. Uh, you gotta ask God. You gotta have mercy. Uh, to break the law. God have mercy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> 